Well, this is an Ontario Health Coalition initiative, and the, the Windsor chapter uh, is going on in a number of communities across the province. But the government is set to enter into contracts with private clinics to provide hospital services that, to this point, have been uh, provided almost exclusively in hospitals. And uh, the result of this, from our experience, is that it, it results in uh, fees to the client or the, the patient that, that are not uh, really permitted under the Canada Health Act. So we're, it, it's headed toward a two-tier healthcare system where if you want to pay, you can jump the queue and, uh, and the rest of this kind of wait. So we we're just want people to know that, the, the, that this is an initiative that the government is taking. They're trying to do through the back door, which we don't believe that uh, would be acceptable if, if they had an open debate, uh, public debate about it, because we've been pretty consistent in our support of a single-payer public health care system and uh, this is this kind of leads us down the road to two tier for private uh, private for profit health care where uh, you wind up paying uh, paying out of pocket for services that uh, that we, we shouldn't be paying for and pay for in our tax base uh, to provide health care well we're hoping that we can that there's still an opportunity to get the government to stand down they've made the regulatory changes but to the best of our knowledge they've not entered into any contracts yet to actually farm the services out. So our message to them is going to be that, uh, uh, you know, we've we've done some work to gauge the support of the public of this, and the public uh, is, not, uh, is, uh, is not in support of what you're doing. In fact, they're very much opposed to it, and uh, uh, we think you should uh, try, and, try and convince them politically to stand down from taking any action on it and leave things. Uh, I mean, we, look, we don't deny that there are things that could be improved in the health care system, but you, you, you know, that you do it by increasing capacity, train more healthcare professionals, spreading out these resources between hospitals and clinics uh, is not the answer. It's just going to create a two-tier system where those who are willing to pay jump the queue and and it destabilizes, defunds the hospitals and uh, and their services, their ability to provide services diminished as a result.